Blender 2.93 got a big rendering update. In the junk shop scene, it got me from 20 seconds per frame down to only 7 seconds. All thanks to this little checkbox, the new persistent data. When we start rendering, the render first goes through the scene build time, which if you have a heavy scene, can be quite slow. And when rendering an animation, the render will calculate the scene build time for every single frame. With persistent data enabled, the render data will be cached. So the scene build time will be calculated only once for unchanged objects. If you have a light scene with a fast scene build time, it will not make a big difference. But if you have a heavy scene with a slow build time, it can significantly speed up render times. However, this comes at the cost of increased memory usage. Persistent data can also be very useful for re-renders. For example, when fine-tuning render settings. So let's have a look at the new feature. Okay, so here we have a heavy scene with a basic camera animation. By heavy, I mean that there is dense geometry with subdivision surface modifiers on top. I am also using a couple of 8K textures. In the render properties, under performance and final render, persistent data is disabled. So let's press render. When we start a render, we first go through the scene build time. And because we are working in heavy scene, it is quite slow. So one frame took around 15 seconds to render. Let's move the playhead and go to a different frame. Now let's render again. As you can see, we have to go through the scene build time again. So for every frame of this animation, the scene build time will be calculated. So every frame will take around 15 seconds to render. Now let's enable persistent data and start a render. We have to go through the scene build time again. But now that persistent data is enabled, the render data will be cached. So let's move the playhead and render a different frame. Now one frame needs only around 2 seconds to be rendered. Because the render data has been cached, we are now skipping the scene build time. So this entire animation will render at around 2 seconds per frame instead of 15. Persistent data can be a huge time saver when rendering animations. In this scene, there is no animation. We will be using persistent data to efficiently fine-tune the render settings. With persistent data disabled, if I change the number of samples, and press render, I will have to sit through the scene build time before I can see the effect on the image. So let's cancel and activate persistent data instead. Now let's press render to cache the render data. Now that the render data has been cached, let's change the number of samples and render again. We can now very quickly see the effect on the image. This allows us to efficiently fine-tune our render settings without the need to sit through the scene build time after each render setting change. Thank you Brest for the new feature. It can be a big time saver. I hope this video got you interested in testing persistent data in your own projects. I am Karim Joseph for Blender Daily. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.